Pepe has taken the throne and awarded your family with the status of Chancellor, but it has come with a price. Centralized authority continues to erode as local and regional leaders become more powerful. Harvests in some regions are far below normal, and the specter of famine has begun to appear in Egypt. Menefer, once a splendid and beautiful city, is beginning to decline. Seers foretell difficult times to come. Our powerful neighbors are moving to take advantage of our increasing weakness. Our outpost at Buhen is under siege from fearless Kushite soldiers sent from Kerma, the largest non-Egyptian city in Africa. The Kushites are demanding tribute, and the slightest provocation could lead to an outright attack. Nubia too has issued a call to war and is seeking to reclaim lost land. Try to keep Egypt stable by establishing an administrative post at Dakla Oasis. The oasis has a large stand of valuable trees, but these trees unfortunately block access to the limited water supply at the oasis. From this important location, import ebony from the African interior. Pepe, anticipating his journey to the afterlife, will request bricks for the construction of his monument. Other cities, short on food, will request sustenance from you. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh, A New Era. We are here at Dakla Oasis, the caravan trail. This is the uh, the other mission from um, the Dongolo Oasis, which was very difficult and a lot of military. I don't think we're going to have too much an issue with this. There are two big factors with this. So we need a population of 5,000, which is quite large. But we have a culture rating of 50. So that is something you got to plan for in the very beginning. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a pain. We need a monument rating of 9, which is a small obelisk. Prosperity rating of 45, which is going to be easy. And a kingdom rating of 65. So here's our small obelisk. Let's go ahead and pause and zoom out and take a look. Let's take a look at our monument as always. So it's just a granite and then they just got to build up and then chisel it down. So super easy on that. The hardest thing, of course, is going to be 50 culture and trying to get through on that. So looking at it here, we have a ton of meadow that loops all the way around the oasis. We have ostriches everywhere. More meadow, more ostriches. Yeah, so this our entrance to the Kingdom Road is over here on the left, so they're going to come from that way. So if we set up our housing here, production over here, farming over here with our limited land, um, it should work. Let's take a look at our services. Everything here is normal. Food and farming, we have grain, barley, hunting lodge. They're just spoiling us. Stocks and distribution, okay. Raw materials, clay and wood, pyrus, pottery, brewery, weaver, and brickwork. So they already said Pharaoh's going to request bricks. He's also going to request wood and gray meat, game meat as well. Well, other cities will. And we're kind of spoiled. We can make pottery. We can make beer. The only thing we can't make is papyrus and that, but we can import that. Gods, we have three gods. We have Bast, Taf, and Ra, Taf being our patron deity. All the military. I don't think we have, we have archers, recruiter. That's really weird. I don't think we have any military. I don't think we're supposed to even have military. And then, yeah, entertainment. Let's take a look at the world map. It's very similar to the um, Dunkle Oasis, kind of in the map layout. So Salima here, they'll buy clay pottery, beer, linen, papyrus, copper. And that's a pretty cheap land trade route, so we could automatically sell clay and pottery to them. But I think we might open a different one. Nakin will sell us flax so we can make linen and then they'll buy our papyrus we're going to be making. And then here we go, Saqqara. So Saqqara will buy wood and pottery, papyrus, basically everything we need to sell. And then on will buy wood as well and beer. So I'm thinking my very first trade route here is going to be Saqqara. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open that right now. Because I am immediately want to start selling wood. And then of course pottery as well. We're going to be selling a ton of that. So let's take a look here. So that's going to automatically chop down our money, but we should be all right. We go here. I think it's going to be right, I think right here. I'm going to go up six, start my thing, go across eight. I'm going to check and make sure I got that right. My water supply, I did. I measured this out beforehand. Go down 17, I'm going to go back across eight and back up 17. So we're going to do dual loops like I, I like I like to do. 
Um, but we will throw that other loop in. We get a little more money. The beginning is a little bit tight, but not too, too bad, you know? It's considering we can just automatically start exporting a raw resource for a decent amount of money, that's not too bad. Did I get that right? One, two. I did. Okay. Um, let's see your housing. Once again, I always like to skip. Um, to skip over a little bit. That way they don't, they evolve correctly, you know, they don't mess up. Let's throw our services in. Let's go ahead and unpause. Throw our services in here. Architects. Fire. Police. We don't have reed, so we do not need apothecary. There we go. We're down to 3,691. We need our physician. We need our first god, which is going to be Taff. All right. I've already kind of measured how I want, where I want this over here. I'm going to start. Let's see here. One, two. I'm going to leave spot for clay pits. Come back to this road here. I'm going to go across nine. Yep. Right there. Go back over nine again. I figure I'll set up clay. This will be my industrial area. And I'll have uh, barley and stuff over here as well. And wood and all my imports. Since this is a kingdom road, they'll get here quicker. Uh, let's go over here. Go up four. Go all the way back across. Let's delete a little bit of the roads. Good enough for now. Put a roadblock there. One there. Wood. Probably good with four, I think, to start with. And then storage yard. Go ahead and just put that right there. And they will accept all wood. I want to already start selling this since we have an open trade route. So let's go to our overseer commerce and go down to wood. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell them all, even though we don't have these, I will be starting them. All right. I'm gonna go start chopping wood. What's our... Go ahead and say administration and hygiene, just in case I do dip, I, I do have some um, missing workers that uh, I will not have key services. We are on hard mode, and I do have global labor pull on. All right, gods haven't gotten mad yet. Always so kind of scared about them a little bit. There we go. Hey, don't be scared. The water's fine. All right, architects, fire post. Now I'll actually put one more in for now we're gonna have more people coming in i want to just fill up this loop completely we're not completely as much as possible really to get everything kind of going i think i'm gonna if you watch my um version 2 housing tutorial i think i'm going to be turning this one here into pretty high housing and i might actually evolve some of them into a three by three some estates kind of thing or manners i mean Estates are 4x4. Four four. Alright, let's turn speed up a little bit. Alright, as soon as we... You know what, let's go ahead and start our raw production now. Let's start our clay pits. Right here, one. Oop. Can I do that? Oh, that should still be fine. Okay, that's 5. Remember, you can hit F to see that, okay? So we're going to start with our potter, because we're going to be making bricks as well. Three, four, five. I know we're, I know we're low. We're getting people in. But I want to go ahead and do that. And then over here... I don't know why I did that. Okay, you can right-click when you have that selected to get rid of that. Let's go up nine. Over five and back down. Roadblock there, there. It's my population. Good. Keep coming in. And then I want to put that storage yard over here for pottery. Because not only am I going to, since it's all land trade routes, so not only am I going to sell out of here, I'm also going to use it for my city as I go along. But of course, we need 
I'm gonna put granaries in here, and then I'll have storage yards, uh, storage yards around there. Cause it's kind of a weird setup due to how little uh, area you have for water. I mean, you have a ton of area, but it's really close to the water, of course. All right, we're getting a ton of wood. There we go. We made some money. Is there anybody else? Yep. On, we'll buy wood. There you go. We have wood left over, so come buy it, please. It's our population. Good. All right. In the beginnings, I don't like to go to five times just because um, it, there's so much to do. Like, gods are already getting mad, so let's go ahead and take care of that now. I, I figured that was coming. So I'm going to do my normal loop back here. We're going to go up four. We're going to loop back. Um, now I might already plan this for a five or putting this into a three by three. I don't know. Um, do I want to? I can. Let's see. Okay, we have that. If that goes, let's just see. Senate House. Person's in the way. Come on, move. All right, one. Nope, that's perfect. All right. Nailed it. And ta we need bass, so we're at 500. So one bass will be good. One raw will be good. These are 750 apiece. And then we need another of you. There we go. And I should keep them happy for a little bit, please. Don't get mad at me, kitty god, best god. All right. Um, are we having any extra? I don't see any extra clay yet. What's our population? Eight. Come on, I need more people. All right, so I'm going to do my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right here is eight go like that and then 17 i'm gonna make sure i did that correctly i did all right that's as close as i can get. that water has to go right there on this one because that's as close as i can get it let's highlight is three seconds all right good all right i always like to check my work guys thank you taff thank you thank you if only we had those services we will eventually one two three two three All right, fire, police, and architect. Let's get some people moving in on this block as well. One, two, because I want to start farms. I wonder, mm. thank you. I hate it when they do that when you're building though. It's kind of like, Ugh. What was that? Fast. Thank you, Bast. If only we had food. If only we had food. All right. Looks like we could. We don't have, really have a whole lot of people. Could use more clay, pottery. Because we're gonna once we open up that other trade route, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. All right, there goes our people here coming in, which means we're gonna need more gods, which means we're gonna need more physician as well. Alright. Alright, speed it up a little bit. So I wanna I, I usually cut a lot right here, so I'm trying to cut a little less just for those that want to follow along. And still keep the videos relatively short. Alright. What's our okay, now we got 78 over. Let's see here. See all our pottery just disappeared, which is great. Um wood. Doing all right, let's see here. We can sell to Salima now. So what are these? Sakara? Okay, that's, that's crap. On. Okay, on will sell us reeds as well. Because we're about capping out on wood. So, not on them. And then they will sell us reeds. So let's open Salima. Yes. I'll build another clay pit. Because we're still not... Oh, I take that back. Build some more pottery. That's okay, we're going to need the extra clay because we're going to be doing bricks as well. So that's fine. 
And then we need to expand this. So we're going to start making more money. Because uh, we're going to start importing reeds to make papyrus. I want early economy going like super fast because then I just never have to worry about money. I was testing this mission and um, I, w I wasn't even paying attention. I had like 50, 60,000. So. Did I do that right? I did. Okay. I've always uh, got in the habit of building on um, with pause because uh, that way you can if something happens, you can undo it because if you do it, they get employment. You can't undo it. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shh. Yes. Fast is here. So I figure if I do bricks here, so it's close to the clay, and then we could do reeds right here. So let's set that up. Um, we can just put it right there. Put it right there. So this one will be all papyrus, and you will be all reeds. Yes, and let's go here, and we're going to go to import. So um, we always way oversell this, so I'm actually going to import to maintain... Uh, 3,200. I'm going to do a full storage yard full. Um, uh-oh. Cool. Just because we always... It's going to hurt us in the money in the beginning, but we always, um... burn through that pretty quickly. It seems I can never keep up with papyrus production. Because I think one city will buy, like, 5,000. Alright, let's get some more people in, that way we can start doing some food before Pharaoh asks for grain. Or somebody asked for grain, I don't know who it is. One, two, three, four. There we go. Check our gods. We just, we've been getting buffs, but it's always good. So 750, we need another raw. We need another bat. You know what? Once we get some money, we're just going to throw in a, um, a, a shrine to Taft. Because why not? It's going to help. Excellent. Which one was that? All right, pottery. That's what we want, because we will never... We can never make enough pottery either, really. All right. Okay, we have a little bit of extra people. So, um, I know it never says to do this, but we're going to do it. Kablam. i get rid of that. Because um, we don't need it. So, let's see here. I want to start food. Which is... Okay, so I want to pause it and look and see the fertility. So that's pretty good. So we'll do one, two, three, four. I think that's, yeah, ten workers. Yep, that'll work for now because I have to put down irrigation. Let's run that along this way. Sorry, trees. You got to go. You regrow so fast, it's not really much of an issue. In the old pharaoh, you could decimate, like, the entire map of trees and then wait for them to regrow kind of thing. Not in this. Good luck. All right. We have that built. I do have off-road water ditches because I think it's dumb having to build a road all the way out there. All right. With the irrigation, 99, 99, and 30, 83. So that's good. But now that we have that, let's put a granary in. Accept all. And then... Let's actually just put two. Oops. So I'm going to be feeding both of these off of this. It's, it's a little bit of a distance, but it should be okay. Oh, there's our... Well, even though we got out all that, we... I'm going to go ahead and put a full eight of these down, because I can never keep up production. Hopefully, if, if we're not getting enough imports, we'll have to uh, just tone these back if we're not using them all. All right. A little bit negative population. Get a few more people to move in. And that's kind of the beauty of something like this, is you can really just kind of like, oh, I want to, I want a couple more people. And you're good on that. I actually want to destroy that house right there. I don't want somebody there. We got this whole area here still. Everybody's like, well, why don't you feed them? It's like, because I could just keep doing this. <laughs> and then slowly, once I get a ton of food, 
Um, slowly build them up. Oh, Chancellor, we want grain. Five, 700 and five months to comply. This is right after I just actually cut that clip, so I haven't actually even done anything. But we are lucky that we have our first grain shipment incoming. Obviously, I don't have any bazaars down to sell food to my people, so we don't need that. But let's go ahead and put I think a storage yard right here, and we're going to tell this to get straw, because I want all that straw. So we're going to use this to start making bricks. All right, let's take a look and see if we can send it to Pharaoh now can excellent there you go i want to get at least probably two granaries full before i start fi uh, feeding everybody so let's take a look go to our overlay here and we're going to go to our granaries uh 2666 people so we're just waiting for to have 2666 people worth of food on there so shouldn't take too long once we start stacking up a little bit more grain do we have any clay we, okay we do so our pottery is doing all right let's see if we can we have 8,000. Okay, let's go ahead and pause and take a look over here. I think it's time we probably put in our um, temple complex. Uh, that is... Yep. I think it's time we put in our temple complex because that will basically free up a lot of issues to tap. And we have the money right now. You can just put that right there. And that's going to take away a lot of our employment. Or unemployed, I guess. All right, so let's look here. We got the sun and Pooh's ability to build monuments. Okay, we don't need that yet. Toth, wisdom, and learning facilitate education. So they use less papyrus, basically. Um, so let's see here. Let's put in... Well, we're getting grain... It's kind of the here and now versus, like, how much do you want to do it? We're starting to get papyrus in, and we are selling it. We have wood going. We're staying okay on wood. All right, let's take a look at the world map. Is there anything we can open? Nakin, they'll buy papyrus. They'll also sell us flax. Let's do that. It's only 600. All right. Who will buy... Linen. Not you, not you. Salima? Salima will. 2,500. All right. It is now time to go ahead and let's put... Where do we want our linen at? Don't actually know. Excellent. Thank you. So if I wanted to do... You know what we can do? We can do this. We can go... Let's tell this yard over here for pottery to get half. This one over here to accept all. Since they come in from the left, they will automatically come to this one to buy. They won't go to this one to buy. Uh, the traders the, that are coming in. Then we're going to tell it to also get uh, half on beer. And we will stack this one right there. And we'll tell this one to get beer. Because we're going to sell beer as well. We have papyrus, so let's do the same for that. We're going to tell this to... Because we're going to have a lot of employment in this city. 5,000 people, except all, unless we change them over to some 3 by 3s And we're going to tell it to get half, and then linen, get half. All right, which means we need to set up... Um, what is this one? Okay, so we need to do one, two. We're gonna tell this one to get or accept all flax, and then yeah, and then this one here, set the flax. That is flax. This one here is going to be linen, accept all linen. So they'll send out cart pushers to grab them and fill those uh, those up half, which in turn will feed these. But I'll be able to have extra over here. So now let's go to our overseer over here. Bombers, and we are going to import to maintain 3,200. I would like some blessings from Raw. Oh, never mind. I was like, why? Well, I would like some blessings from Raw, please. Raw's like, I don't think so. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at our math here. We have two, that's four, it's 1,500, so they'll be good on those. Uh, it's probably time to throw a festival here soon. Uh, four, 
three, three. If we go like that, like that, that, and like that, we can do that right there. One of the uh, commenter subscribers on my video said, hey, why don't you put it at the end of the bandstand? It looks real good. And uh, yeah, it does. I do agree. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now, but I do appreciate it because it does look very good. All right, we need to get beer going as well. So, as soon as you can. Come on. Sorry, woodworkers. I'm going to make y'all walk a little further. One, two, three, four, five. Should be good for now. Extend that out. Pause. Roadblock it, because these do not burn, nor do they collapse, so that's pretty awesome. And, let's see here. We have a water lift and irrigation. And that should most likely be plenty of barley. It's our pot. Okay, 88. That is a potter. That is a brewer. Nobody's asked for beer yet. We'll fill that in. If you're a global labor pool, you can fill this one in. Because it'll it, these work within uh, your fire and architect work within two tiles, so this will work. But if you're on... Uh, Oh, they want bricks. Ten months to comply. Okay. Um, I think we could do this. Let's see here. Brick. We'll put... I'm going to overproduce now, and then I'm going to trim this back. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these two over here. Of bricks. And I'm going to put this here and tell it to accept. Bricks. We already have some straw stacked up. Excellent. Oh, there's extra flags. We are importing everything correctly, right? Let's see here. Reeds, 3,200, 3,200. That's a full storage yard, basically. And let's see here. Yep. I guess we just capped out last year. All right. We're not... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell... My overseer here of commerce, pottery, I want to export one over 1,600. So that means this, this storage yard over here should always stay full. Um, the same with linen. I'm going, whoop, wrong thing. I'm going to also export one over 1,000. Or yet, yeah, right here. Pyrus 1,600. So I need to start keeping some of this now that I have, not wood, I don't care about wood. Um, well, the only really re reason I have wood is for us for export and pharaoh, basically. Uh, oh, we haven't started selling linen yet, have we? Nope. Exporting went over. So I basically just want to keep a half a storage yard at a minimum of all those um, items. And now I need to put... So yeah, pottery, beer, linen, papyrus. I think we're pretty good on all that. Oh, the people of Buhan are losing hope. Famine has shrunk. We have five months to give them 900 grain. So we will acknowledge... Um, and this is what I was talking about, even though, like, I'm running out of food, now I have all this over here, which is what worries me a bit. So we'll put one more there, I guess. So technically our people aren't starving or anything because we get so much food, but it's just that we don't keep any extra. So what I'm going to do, go over here, overseer, commerce, and green. We are going to stockpile it just to make sure that we have enough here in a second which we actually just had a harvest so we probably didn't even need to do that take a look we should get it in excellent so we'll go here go back to our political yep we'll send that off and i hope this will actually open up the um dunkle oasis trade route because they sent us gems for as a thank you. Oh, there it is. So nice. So since we could, we you accepted a gift of meat. Okay, that's interesting. So it's January of 2021. Let's take a look. So Dunkle Oasis. Cool, they will buy clay, beer, pottery, papyrus, reeds, but they sell us granite, which is awesome. So we're going to open that. And they only sell us 25. Mind you, we need 100. So that's four years. What? 
to get that done. And then hopefully we can get through this map pretty easy. So let's throw down another storage yard right there. And accept granite. We need 100, so that's 25, 3, 6, 9, 12. That's, we need four storage yards basically. All right. And then our overseer over here. Or granite. I think it's at the top. I always do that. I always scroll to the bottom. We're going to import to maintain 100. So three, six, nine. Yep. There we go. So three storage yards and a little bit of change. We are filling up on beer. I think it's time we start selling beer as well. Let's see here. Overseers, commerce, beer. Uh, exporting went over 1,600. So we're going to keep a half a storage yard full, half a storage yard full. So yeah, the city's just kind of rocking on. We're just uh, basically going year by year. We're just waiting for uh, the minimum amount of gravel to get in, or gravel granite, and then we're doing good. I got the uh, culture fixed. We have 70 culture now out of, uh, out of uh, 50 that's needed. We're doing good on that. We have this. Let's put... I think yeah so if we put that there all right guys you gotta go not gonna be hurting on population well as i say that we lose population so i'll show you what i did so i threw in a bunch of scribble schools and positions and a mortuary or two over here because they're right by the supplies and then um yeah this is a uh, my shame area so this here is four booths put together with a juggler school and a conservatory and a firehouse and this is or four what is this bandstands and then here's four booths put together with a juggler so yeah that's my shame area and this is where i handle unemployment yeah shame area but it is what it is all right we're getting more stone in excellent so let's i think we're gonna go ahead and just evolve these houses up can always get rid of unemployment if I need to. So let's see how far we can push these to an extent. It is time to build our obelisk. And I also want to show you here we have some spacious manners, stately manners, stately manners, and we have some over here as well. Spacious, spacious, stately. Yeah, we're good. We're good on that. Yeah, because I don't want my uh, <laughs> everybody's going to want to evolve up and kill my employment so let's uh yeah there we go now let's place this monument and get this mission done we're gonna go ahead and just throw it right over here we can see they're gonna start chiseling it up and they're gonna build their their ramps up let's actually go ahead pause and take a look while we wait for this let's go to our ratings we see we're still at culture we're at 100 percent prosperity 100 percent kingdom we're just waiting on that monument this is hard guys we have not used our debt this is just if you plan this mission right you'll just smash it all right while egypt falls apart around you you have managed to hold your city together these skills will serve egypt well in a difficult time to come so we finished out with a culture rating of 70 prosperity rating of 100 a kingdom rating of 99 and a population rating of 5,323. Let's go ahead and take here and pause and take a look. Let's uh, just go ahead and get rid of all this here. New. Let's get rid of this here. Reconnect back up. So I want everybody, when they're coming into my city, I want them to see my beautiful statue right here. Let's put some gardens around that guy. There we go. So that's the first thing the traders see. They know that our city is... Prosperous. We finished finished out with one hundred and ninety three thousand one hundred and seventy eight Devon. So let's take a look at our city here. We went with my double loop that I featured in my housing video over here. You can see we have some three by threes that I went ahead and evolved up. Um, we have some more over here. I could have done all of these over here as well and just started, you know, dropping population or dropping workers. Basically, not really needed. We made ton. Um, once again, this is featured in my housing tutorial video, guys. We have plenty of food. I guess you could say a thing that I would have done better is that I should have imported or not imported. I'm sorry. I should have gotten meat earlier. 
because I mean, grain, I was so worried about the grain and oh, we need grain. I could have just been hunting the whole time. So we wound up not even needing it. Food was never an issue. But uh, yeah, I went with my classic um, three by two, basically production loop here that I use in pretty much all of my videos. And yeah, well, let's look at my walk of shame. So yeah, this is basically if you have a high culture rating, this is what you have to do. So I'm, I'm sorry for that. I really am. Yeah. And then this is my employment of shame. Where I just throw in work camps. So we're going to pretend that doesn't exist. Basically, the desert just ends right here. Okay. So, okay, guys, that was the Dakla Oasis. A very fun kind of laid back mission compared to how strenuous the other one was. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I do read all the comments and I respond to all of them, guys. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.